All right. So we got this little chunk of uh, oak from a nice nurse named Cindy who had a tornado two weeks ago tear down this huge, beautifully huge oak tree. I will insert a picture here. And she had saw this piece of wood and said it's kind of interesting. Let's save it. So I'm going to see what I can do with it. I think if we hold our mouth just right, we might be able to get some kind of cool little bowl out of here. So we got a mounted tween centers. Um, kind of balanced. It's a beautiful day outside and I had to shut my door because the light. So I'm gonna have to figure something out for that. We can't be doing that all summer long. All summer long. So I'm gonna start by Wondering what the hell I'm gonna do. All right, so let's kind of start there. Make this sort of flat. Um, put a tenon on it. And it should have, should have some pretty cool grain in there. We hope. Easy, easy, easy. We might actually leave the uh, inclusions in. There's some sort of split here. I'm not real sure about. But let's go ahead and round the rest of this out. See what happens with those bark inclusions.
All right, so got her, got her marked for today. There we go, four pounds. All right, well, uh, I don't know why they didn't record any of the audio. I'm yelling at myself here saying I forgot I had uh, started a video on this bowl and uh, finished it up while I was waiting for some glue to dry. So it was just some sanding and whatnot. It'll take another coat or two of uh, Danish oil and then she'll be ready to go. Hopefully she'll enjoy it. As you can see, I left the voids in. That big chunk that was in there, that was starting to rot. So, say a couple more, couple more coats, and she'll be ready to roll. I did get a little bit of mail in the mail today. A little bit of mail in the mail. Duh. <clears throat> Clean spore. Hey, tell you what, if you hadn't been there ordered looked around on their website go check them out they have a uh, great selection good prices I've never had a messed up order uh, great stuff go go check them out I also got one from Mark he usually calls me Mr. Dipshit on the emails so it confused my mail lady but it made it nonetheless now at this point I do know what's in it well, now that I'm talking, he, uh, he wanted to know whether I could recreate something, but he didn't tell me what it was, so this is going to be a shock. Of course, you can't see it. Let me adjust. There you go. It's kind of scared it's going to be just a pile of a turd, but he did all right. So it looks like a little block of walnut. And I'm assuming that's a razor handle. I don't know what kind of razor that takes, but uh, kind of guessing he wants a wood handle for it. So I will work on that next week. Well, not next week, because I'll be working out of town next week. But uh, I'll be uh, working on that in a couple weeks seeing what we can come up with so appreciate you watching y'all have a wonderful day